Feelings are another key component of toughness. Whenever we're in a situation that demands toughness, that demands an action or a decision, we are accompanied by a barrage of feelings, emotions, and sensations. Could be fear, could be anxiety, could be excitement, could be thrill. All of these things combined together. And what the research and the experience of world-class performers clearly shows us is that the best athletes, the toughest people, don't ignore those feelings. They don't shoo them away. They're able to understand them because those feelings are signals. They're our internal body trying to communicate that something is a little awry, that maybe we're in a little bit of a da danger, or maybe that pain that we feel is telling us then that in a couple miles in our marathon, we're going to be running out of fuel. So feelings are a way to communicate. And like any language, if we understand it, then we can decide, hey, do we want to pay attention to that? Is this an important message or is it one that we should just kind of float on by? The research calls this ability interoception, our ability to understand the internal signals coming from our, our body and interpret them. The better we are at being able to listen to our body, distinguish and delineate between what anger, frustration, sadness all mean, the tougher you are because you know exactly what your body's saying. You know exactly how to handle or navigate that. In athletic terms, you know the difference between pain that just signals that you're getting fatigued and pain that signals, hey, you're about to be injured. One you pay attention to, one you kind of let float by and cope with. So learning to understand, listen to, and sometimes accept our feelings is a vital component of toughness. Don't push them away. Don't ignore them. Listen to them.